Shifting our focus now, a girl's sweet 16 birthday party. It turned into a grisly crime scene in Alabama on Saturday. A gunman wreaked havoc, killing four and injuring 28 others. Among those dead, a star athlete who planned to play college football. This is the third mass shooting in the United States in three weeks. The shooting took place at the Mahogany Masterpiece Dance Studio, where the party was being held. An unidentified gunman entered the studio, opened fire at 10.34 p.m. local time on Saturday. Officials have not said whether the suspect has been killed or arrested. They only said that there was no longer any threat to the community. Hundreds of locals gathered on Sunday to hold a memorial vigil for those who lost their lives. Father, I'm going to light your own candle. Now, U.S. President Joe Biden also reacted to the latest mass shooting incident. He said, what has our nation come to when children cannot attend a birthday party without fear? He further said, guns are the leading killer of children in America. This is outrageous and unacceptable. No way. Now, the Sweet 16 party was for the sister of Phil Dowdell, the star athlete who was killed in the bloodshed. His grandmother said he was set to graduate in weeks and had planned to attend Jacksonville State University on a football scholarship. Well, um, our star athlete, you know, he's one of them, Phil Dowdell. Um, great student, great student athlete. You know, uh, not only did he win... Uh, um, Not only did he win uh, the 100 and 200 last year, but you know, he set goals to be able to plan to be able to win that. And just, he's so goal oriented, always had a smile on his face. Um, to just willing to help anybody and, and do anything that's possible for anyone. Officials are yet to provide information on the gunman and the reason behind the shooting. Now, the mayor, Frank Goodman, said that trying to control guns would be as futile as trying to control illegal drugs. I see it this way, and I don't know how no one else see it. You know, they say, you know, ban the guns. But to me, that is just like they're trying to stop all the drugs going on. If you want something, you're going you to get it. I mean, if they ban the guns, there are going to be all the guns out there somewhere. If you want one, you can, you can purchase one just like the drugs, uh, people still getting drugs. So I don't think guns don't kill, it's the people behind the guns. So that's, that's the way I look at it. Now the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency has also asked residents to come forward with information about the crime. This is the third mass shooting that has taken place in the United States in the past three weeks. Two similar incidents took place in Tennessee and Kentucky previously. A total of 17 people have been killed, 36 have been injured in the three shootings. The violence and bloodshed has resulted in Democratic lawmakers calling for stricter gun controls. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.